Hello again. Uh, in this uh, recording, I'll be solving the exercise related to the real solutions of a second degree equation. So um, they are asking us to write a program that calculates the real solutions of a second degree equation. So ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. And by discussing, so we know that the result would be like minus b plus or minus the square of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. They are telling us to use a helper variable d to calculate the discriminant b squared minus 4ac and to see whether d has one, two, or no real solutions. So again, they are telling us to use three integer variables a, b, and c, so corresponding to this ones, and to consider the cases where the user enters zeros, for example, for a, for a and b, for a, b, and c, and then we display the result. So ultimately, let's uh, uh, write here some stuff. So a, a x squared plus b x plus c equal to zero. If if it has solutions, so we'll have uh, two uh, answers. So double solution x one x two. It's uh, equal to minus b plus radical of uh, delta, which is discriminant over two a. Otherwise, we will have minus b plus radical of delta over 2a. This is in the case where we have a solution. So we should calculate the discriminant delta and we will check. If delta is positive, we will have this. If delta is negative, no real solution. We have solutions in complex, but no real solution. If delta equal to zero, we have a double solution, which means that uh, we have just one solution which is equal to minus b over 2a since delta is equal to zero. This is where we have a solution and when we can calculate, for example, we know that A is different than zero because we will be uh, calculating uh, a division here. So forcibly, the uh, denominator should be different than zero. So let's come back to here and see what if A is equal to zero. If A equal to zero, it means that we have the equation BX plus C equal to zero. And we know that the solution is equal minus C over B. This is the solution where a is equal to zero. Now, what if a and b is equal to zero? If a and b equal to zero, it means that we have c equal to zero. So, this one is impossible unless c is equal to one. So, if c is equal, uh, sorry, zero. If c equal to zero, this one is true. If c is different than zero, it means impossible if c is different than zero. We have uh, the case where a equal to 0, b, b equal to 0, and c equal to 0. So, if I have this equation and I have a equal 0, b equal 0, c equal 0. So, if I put any number in, uh, in x, I will have the equation, the equality which is correct. I will have at the end 0 equal to 0, and we will have, I can put in x infinite numbers, so we will have an infinite solution. So, what we will do is that we will check if both three, uh, three values are equal to zero, so we will display infinite solution. Then we will check if a and b are equal to zero, so it means that c is different than zero because we will be in the else. So if a and b are equal to zero, so, and it means that c is different than zero, so we are here, so there is no solution. Otherwise, if just a equal to zero, and we know that b is different than zero, because if b equal to zero, we would have been in, a, in, a, in a, the else that uh, was previous to this one, and we will display the solution. Otherwise, it means that a, b, and c are different than zero, so I will calculate delta and do uh, and check delta if it's negative, positive, or equal to zero, and display the values uh, correspondingly. So, we will need three variables, a, b, and c and one for uh, d for delta delta uh, it's equal b square minus 4 ac so let's uh, we can declare it as uh, integer however we will be using a power so when we use power the function power it's in math.h it returns a double and we may lose some precision so it's preferable to declare it as a double so let's first uh, so we'll ask the user small p here to enter three variables please enter a b and c 
So he, he the user need, needs to enter the A here, the B, C, and here. So, and we need to read three integers. Address of capital A, address of capital B, address of capital C. So, those are the variables. The, 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 the uppercase should match here. However, this is a string. I can write, I can write it whenever I want. Whatever I want, I can write. Yes, now next. Uh, what should we do? So we need to check. So if the three values are equal to zero, so again, it is wrong to write A equal B, for example, equals equal zero. So equal is assignation. So this is wrong. This is just equality. I'm putting zero in A. So if both uh, the three elements are equal to zero, it means we have infinite solution. So we'll uh, tell the user infinite solution. Otherwise, else, what does it mean? Else, it means either A different than zero, or B different than zero, or C different than zero. So what's the negation of A equal to zero? So A different than zero, or B different than zero or c different than zero so at least one of these are different than zero so what we will do is that we will use another f so to check if a and b are if a equal to zero and b equal equal to zero here we mean that c is different than zero and if c different and if a equal to zero b equal to zero and c different than zero for example five does it equal to zero so it's impossible. So we have here an impossible solution. So impossible. Let's continue. So we are here. So we have C different than zero. If we say else, and let's check if A equal to zero. So here, what, is, what, what does it mean? Else, it means a different than zero or b different than zero. So let's take the case where a equal to zero. If a is equal to zero, what does it mean? And b is different than zero. And c obviously is again different than zero. Let's say and c different than zero. So we can calculate the solution. So the solution would be equal to minus c uh, over b. So, print f, solution, so it's, a, it's, a, it's first, first degree equation with x equal percentage. I should use a real because uh, we cannot, because we will have a division. Whereas a uh, solution. So in, in place of x, I will place c over b. However, c is an integer, b is an integer. I should cast one of these, or I could multi multiply one of these with uh, 1, point zero. So we need to cast because integer of an integer is an integer. So this is for the cases where uh, we have... Uh, 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 one of the or two of the or three of the parameters are equal to zero of the variables equal to zero. So else, it means that we are not in none of these cases. So it means that all uh, a. So hey, here we have a different than zero and b different than zero and c different than zero. So now we can calculate the discriminant d, which is equal to power of b square or we can uh, use it b multiple b minus 4 uh, dot multiple a multiple c so power is a float number a is an integer 4 is an integer 4 multiple a multiple c is an integer integer a double minus an integer is a double and yes it's a double so here inside of the else we need to check the value of uh, d so if 
delta is negative, it means that we don't have a solution, real solution. So, no solutions, let's say uh, that uh, no real solution. No, if you want to, 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 to find the uh, solutions in complex, you can uh, use your formulas and uh, try by yourself the uh, writing your own instructions and print up. So, if d is less than 0, we'll do that, else we have two options, either d is equal to 0 or is greater than 0. So, again, we have to, to check whether if d is equal to 0, so double equal. So, if d is equal to 0, it means that we have a double solution. So, print f double solution, uh, which is equal to minus b over 2a. So, double solution let's say x equal percentage lf for double and we have minus b over 2 multiple a so again here b is an integer 2 is an integer a is an integer integer over integer is an integer so and uh, we will have a result as an integer so we need to cast here i will not use the cast like this here I will multiply by 1.0 so you can either multiply the numerator or the denominator it depends it, it, it's up to you so this is for the d equal to 0 else it means that d is not less than 0 it's not equal it means is d is greater than 0 if it's greater than 0 we have two solutions so we will say that print f two solutions and the first one would be equal to minus b plus radical square of delta over 2a and the second one uh, minus b minus square root of delta over 2a so let's print here backslash t just to make a tabulation and say x1 equal percentage uh, lf percentage here so may maybe now we will try to to modify just the lf because we will, in double, we will have six digits after the comma. It's too much. Let's say two. Let's keep it two here, point two. And the first solution would be equal to minus b minus square root sqrt of delta over, so this is minus b minus square root over two multiple a. Two multiple a the second one would be minus b plus square root of delta over 2a and this is it for the solution so let's again repeat we have taken the cases where the three uh, variables a b and c are equal to zero so it's an infinite solution otherwise it means one of them is different than zero we have chosen the cases where c is different than 0 and the two others are equal to 0 to see that it will be impossible. And if a is equal to 0, it means that b here, b different than 0 and c different than 0. And we can find the solution of a, the first degree equation. As or otherwise, the three variables are different than 0. We calculate discriminant. We can check the discriminant if it's negative equal to 0 or positive to 0. So for that, I have three options. I cannot do it in just one if else. I do, I choose one of these options, so you can choose here either the discriminant is, diff is less than zero or equal or greater. So at the end you should have three blocks, one for d is less than zero, one for d equal to zero, and one for d is greater than zero. So let's run this program and see if we have some problems. So let's enter. <clears throat> 4, 2, and minus 1. So we will have two solutions. So the first one is x equal minus 0 and x2 equal 0 0.31. Let's say that I have a, B, a, a is equal to 0. So the program is still running. 0, 3, 4. So the solution would be minus 4 over 3. So it's for minus 1.33. Let's see that if a and b are equal to 0 and 
c is different than zero, so it would be impossible. So it's impossible to have one is equal to zero. Let's run it with uh, zero, zero, zero. So it's an infinite solution. So we still need to, to find so a solution like these, or for example, for delta uh, is negative. Uh, so we need to have uh, the power less than 4ac. So we can have 7 here, 1 here, and 9. So we'll have no real solution because the b square here minus 4ac is less than 0. So this is it for this exercise. If you are uh, interested in these questions, I'm telling you that I will be posting a question to solve uh, an equation of a third degree. So I will tell you how to solve it. However, if you still have questions about how to solve this problem, do not hesitate to comment the YouTube video or send me a message and I'll be glad to answer you back. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel and to hit the bell icon to receive all the notifications. And thanks for watching.